Attawa Piscat is a remote First Nations reserve in northern Ontario. And yesterday we gave you a glimpse of what life is like for some people in that community. We've been uh, talking about this house for years now. Sometimes I feel uh, we've been overlooked. Joseph's home is infested with mold and like a lot of people living on the reserve, he feels forgotten. But there are people who are stepping up to help. Today, we meet a young man who's reaching out to Attawapiskat and bringing home to the children living on the reserve. Bringing hope, rather. <laughs> Wesley Prankard is an ordinary 12-year-old on an extraordinary mission. I want to build a playground in every single northern community that doesn't have one. I want to level the playing field. But before a place to play, they need food to eat. We were given flour, however, it has holes. It was from a food bank, and the Ontario government won't let them give it out to people who need it. So they give it to us. What we do is throw it in the garbage bag, tie her up, they will use this to make bannock. Okay! Oh, nice. <laughs> I think we take um, quite the bit for granted because um, we have a lot more stuff than them. And, um, you know, sometimes we don't even use it. Wes and his parents flew to Attawapiskat, a First Nations reserve about 600 kilometers north of Timmins, Ontario. I didn't know where it was on the map. I didn't, I could barely pronounce it. Oh, it's so cool. It's a place that stole his heart when he visited last Easter after raising $6,000 in supplies. Rosie! <laughs> they had been telling us that many people had come and left and never come back. They'd come and said, yes, we'll help. We will help you. You need the help. And then didn't help. You know, Wes, people would like to meet you here today. That's one of the things that kind of motivated me to come back. To see all the mold in the floor. He listens to their problems. There's just like a wall of mold, and they said they try and clean it but it comes back not even a month later. Rob, what kind of bird is that? Wes tries to understand how their lives can be so very different from his. You know, sometimes they, they run away from their homes. They, you know, commit suicide. They're pretty much um, not too different from us. You know, they're, they're human beings. Last summer, Wes heard Pepsi was looking for ideas to improve communities. We made a bunch of videos to get all the votes possible. He submitted the story of Attawapiskat to Pepsi's online contest and won $25,000 to make a difference. Today, he's come back to tell them the good news. You guys are going to get a playground. Thank you very much. Wes knows it's not a perfect fix, but it's a start. The playground, it may not solve everything, but it will really help. It will actually give them hope. It'll give them joy. They'll be very proud of it. It may help with a lot. Wes has submitted another proposal to the Pepsi Refresh Contest, trying to get money to build a playground in Kashechewan, Ontario. For more information, go to our website, canadam.ctv.ca.